What's going on and welcome to the Stick Drift Podcast, a podcast for all things cars, racing games, motorsports and more. Welcome back to an episode of it's, the Stick Drift w- Podcast. At least one of them. It's one of the episodes. <laughs> it, always, it always gets forgotten. Yeah, it's, it's probably it, eight. I, eight sounds about right. Let me hunt it down. The Stick Drift Podcast. This is episode... Nine of the Secret Podcast. Yes, of course, last week... Well, there wasn't an episode last week, so I had the most excruciating, (laughs) unbearable, nothing went right, technical problems last week. There was no way we could have gotten a podcast out. It was just, like, it was a mess. If something could have gone wrong, it did. It was truly the Murphy's Law. It was, if anything that can go wrong did go wrong and it was absolutely terrible so we did end up missing an episode last week i'm gonna have to unfortunately but but yes we're back today with episode nine god it would have been episode 10 this week then but uh, we've got a lot more to talk about this week exactly we've got a lot to talk about this week and speaking of and also the week before last was uh the alex 7 episode which was uh pretty good of course the the giveaway and whatnot i don't remember whether it was drift wedge or whether it was um uh, stick drift, but I think one of the giveaways, two people who won just didn't get back to me. If it was this, <laughs> then bloody get back to me. Uh, but, but yes, this week in the Stick Drift Podcast, a podcast for all things cars, car culture, racing, racing games, and motorsports. Except motorsports is kind of on a hiatus at the moment. I mean, really. there's, there's nothing. There the really moment. is it's nothing. Winter. So. Motorsports Monday, the, the segment held exclusively on a Saturday and uploaded on a Sunday. Unfortunately, has it's been cancelled. Yeah, it's, um, believe it or not, not much happens. In yeah, the end, so. <laughs> but we got uh, two weeks worth of spotted while spotted. A bunch of cool cars in that, including some EV versions of cars that we cool already cars, know. Yeah. A Bath finally unveiled and showed, revealed their new five hundred, and it's actually like noticeably different than the fear 500 which still I, disappointing i think it's kind of all right the back is just literally just the normal uh, baths and whatnot so uh, much slower than the normal uh, yeah. the petrol version though here's the issue mm, uh the sony and honda planning a 2025 ev that could have gaming built in which like what's the point <laughs> right like it's just gonna be there isn't there isn't long story mm. short the thing is i don't know what people are expecting but it's well it's sony and honda collabing but it's just gonna be like a terrible I... screen like a like a seven inch screen and it's gonna just be a ps5 that you can only even think about touching with the car off park i reckon it'll be the same as the tesla on. Like, like how yeah. you can play the little wheel games for your Tesla. It'll be like one of those with yeah the Pacific EV, I guess. Exactly, well. yeah. But like, I mean, maybe it could cool, but I've, uh, maybe it could cool. Maybe it could be cool, but I don't think it's gonna be anything really special. It'll just be a PS5 in a yeah in a in a yeah, Civic in essentially. A, yeah. Uh, which I mean, I guess really the car is what matters, but it's a, it's an interesting thing, I guess. Mazda came out of the blue with, I think, was it supposed to be an... It's a Miata, yeah. An EV Miata concept. Well, they didn't will... say it's meant to be an MX-5. Uh, it's just a, it's a sports car. Ah, yes. Marks. But it is the most, like, there's no chance it ever exists, is the thing. But it looks kind of cool. sort and of like a Lotus from the back. Yeah. And we'll be going into uh, looking a, a deeper look at that, but uh, it looks lethal on the front. Like that is like chopping off your ankles if you get hit with that kind of kind of front grill. Uh, after that, of course, a couple more spotted while spotted. Other stuff as BMW actually, and again, it looks nothing like it did in the concepts, but they actually did end up releasing uh, or revealed their new uh, three point. Oh, CSL, whatever that means. Uh, 552 brake horsepower. Uh, celebrates the 50 year anniversary. It was that like it old looks so concept. bad. <laughs> yeah, like the the wide body on the concept. The wide body was like, how do I even describe it? <coughs> it wasn't molded like this one is. 
It was like no. attached on. Like there was there was gaps. There was like gaps in the wide body. And obviously for every kind of safety regulation, they've have to got rid of that and everything else sharp about it. It just looks it looks bad. There's, like, there's no way I can describe half of bad. Yeah, it's... we'll obviously be going deeper into that today. Need for Speed Unbound uh, got its official release. The game entirely leaked a couple days before. In fact, we would have that would have been on the uh, last episode of the podcast. But yeah, the game fully leaked. Uh, again, due to a similar thing that happens to most games, which is retailers. They will send out the hard copies of games way too early. But we'll be going into probably a little review of uh, Need for Speed Unbound from us and the general consensus of what everyone else is saying about the game. But uh, on top of that, the Audi A6 Avant e-tron concept, which is a wagon which looks pretty damn nice, but it's got thin headlights, which I don't like. It's, it's, the, oh, it's, now that I look at it. The e-tron Avant is goofy. It's, it's got why the, fake It's got like grill. 40 inch wheels on it for some reason. I don't get it. The wheels, yeah. I think, look kind of cool. The big wheels. But, uh... Fake grill and thin headlights. Yeah. Speaking of thin headlights, you know the BMW i7 that we talked about the other day? There's an yeah. SUV version and it's massive. There's they got like the iX6 or so, which is absolutely massive. Like, yeah, it was it was the front of the i7 and it was on a ginormous yeah, SUV. Yeah. Like they don't was... fit in the UK. They're no. way too big. It was like the, the wheels were parked right up against the curb, and like the front of the car was a solid meter into the pavement. <laughs> like, it was yeah, insane. yeah. The thing they was don't... ginormous, and it was the front of, of uh, yeah, an i7. An interesting the IX is I... just, yeah. It's just so big for some <laughs> unknown reason. I don't get it. Uh, an interestingly shaped Lotus spotted while spotted that we'll be going into. A bunch of Mercedes, it seems. A Toyota. And a Corvette SUV. Which is something that I didn't think I'd ever have no, to hear. It looks so bad. It's a concept so image, thankfully, I think. <laughs> I hope. No, it looked like that. <laughs> But it's like, oh, a Corvette SUV. It's Do got I... like the the uh, C7 front. Yeah. Uh... On a Eurus. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, right, is isn't Corvette, is Corvette their own brand? Because they just are Chevrolet, right? Chevrolet. Yeah, so che just Chevrolet make SUVs. other cars. Yeah, yeah, they make other cars. Not in the UK. Like, but, yeah. yeah. But it's like. Surely Chevrolet has SUVs. They must, right? Chevrolet... Which Mustang, Marquis, this will be their version of it. Oh, yeah, Chevrolet SUV. Oh, yeah, I... Oh, yeah, there definitely is, because they're the they're the AI traffic thing. It's like it's like a really round thing. Um. Oh, God, it is disgusting. It looks American exclusive. Uh, uh, yeah, we don't... That looks a lot like ooh. an old Vauxhall, but yeah. It does, it does. Chevrolet's yeah. GM, isn't it? I think so. So I Yeah, that probably is a that probably is a yeah. yeah. Uh, but a Chevy SUV, so I guess it makes sense when they do the Mark E, because like the Mustang and the Corp like they're their sub like sub cars, I is guess. The Mark E selling very well, it's I don't think so, but uh, a Corvette one, I don't really know what they're going for. Is it gonna be fast? Is that gonna be the point? If it's it was just, America, so it'll play like, like four million brake horsepower, but it'll weigh yeah. seven tons. So I mean that's, that's the thing. If it's fast, I could understand. If it looks sporty and is fast, sure, maybe you're going looks for the core. It's gonna exactly. be an SUV. But if you're going for you're going for the Corvette audience there. But if it is just a default looking SUV, it will be embarrassing, is what it will be. Yep. Uh but um yeah, on top of stuff like that, the Audi, of course, the Audi is ending the Audi R8. That's also getting its final version, which seems to be hitting the uh, the, the, the news cycle now because it, it was known a while ago. We've seen the image before. It but, sure does look like an R8. Yeah, it's an R8, but it's got, uh, I assume, Summon in the internals, as well as uh, canards, spoiler, etc., it's nothing grand for a big exit, right? It's like, what are they really going to replace it with? Probably an EV. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you are someone, hasn't it? Yeah. But uh, the Audi R8 gets its Latara version confirmed is what's happened there. Uh, speaking of releases and conveying to EV, of course, the Abarth. We got the first look at the Abarth. Now, the Fiat 500, the, the 500 and the 500s, they are always very similar. 
But I think there's there's noticeable things different about this one. And I want to say I prefer the Abarth. The Fiat one, you can carry on on this thing. It looks better than the 500 EV. Mm. But it only makes 150 horsepower. Yeah. I, I, mean, I don't get it. It's, it's not for the audience that want the high horsepower, I don't, though, really. I don't get it. I, it's... Like, there. There's the Fiat version. I don't like the 500 on the on the I grid mean, instead. They the... immediately start coping and say, well, the blistering acceleration of EVs isn't what we were going for. Yeah. That's... Yeah, they actively said that, right? They're like, EVs they're are just, known yeah. for fast. We don't want fast. They're just going hard cope mode because they couldn't make a fast car. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not really sure on the rims, but from the back, it's literally just the older bots. Like, they yeah. did nothing on the back. That, looks wise, like, it looks cool. It's slow. Yeah. It's heavy because it's an EV. It's... But I guess it's not supposed to be fast, though, right? It's for, like. It's in a bath. It's meant, to, it's, it's meant to be fast. Is it? Oh. Because uh, it, I guess it's the, slower than the petrol version. <laughs> is it not just supposed to be like a seventeen-year-old girl's first car, though? Really? I guess maybe the Abarth version. No, but like all four Abarth fans from the seventies are rolling in their graves right now. Yeah, I mean, what they don't do the other thing, right? The one, two, four. I swear they. The don't... one, two, four was cool. If yeah. they still made that. Uh, the Abarth. One, two, four. It's the only other. It's basically an MX-5. It's basically it's just it's just an yeah. MX-5. Yeah, it, it looks kind of cool. I kind of don't like how it looks here. It looks better in person. They made it for like two years in the yeah. UK. No one brought it. And then, <laughs> I've seen yeah. it in person before, and it looks a lot better in person than it does in images, I reckon. But uh, it's that. Yeah, it's the like MS uh, MS MX-5 uh, genre of car, like uh, that. The S2000, like. The that issue is they car. they get given fears and they can't make any more power out of them yeah. because they're given fears. <laughs> yeah. The poor Fiat Chrysler engines are Where do you struggling fit the power as it is. That, right? Like it's <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, the EV they have no excuse for though. Like, no. Yeah. It's, just, just turn it up. It's just, so just, light just too, right? Like it's so light. You could make that thing zippy with oh, EV. Ah, it's an EV. Uh, Oh, right, yeah, EV makes it heavy, right, yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. But the rest of it, the non-EV section of it, it would be so light, surely. You could make that thing zippy. Well, the thing it's is, it would be It heavy. weighs one and a half tons. Yeah, but... And it's that small. All of that is in the floor, though, so it would be planted, like low center of gra gravity, etc., right? Because, I mean, that's one of the benefits of EV cars, is that because they have such a low center of gravity... You'd never tip. Like you would, you would never tip because all of if that. If you manage to flip a normal abarth, you deserve an achievement. I mean that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. Too. There, I don't think there's a single car in the market that's top heavy. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, but the, the um, uh, electric cars more so because it's like, all in the floor. The the petrol version's 180 horsepower mm. and is lighter. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. <laughs> The Ow. fact that it's slower and heavier, uh, like heavier, sure that was gonna happen, but slower. Like they, they just they go so much, like such hard on the cope. Like mm. they what they list some goofy number, don't they? they yeah, they list like... the twenty five to thirty five in under one point five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah, I mean they must really, they must have some numbers that we don't know about because it must be that like people really aren't driving their cars at any speed. It must just be like oh. Every single person buying our cars is uh, Jessica, who's just turned 17 and wants to go two miles an hour to go to the McDonald's drive through right? Like, I, I assume they've got some numbers that we don't know. Because unless you are going to whack like a spoiler, a dropped spoiler under Glower Bath, now that I'm thinking about it, would be pretty drip. But how, imagine, many, would, how right, many people would use Imagine how cool that would be if it was... Wasn't as bubbly, right? Yeah. More angular shaped. 300, 400 horsepower, all wheel mm, drive. Yeah. It would cost probably like 50, because what, that's 30. It probably cost 20 grand more, 50 grand. Yeah. Right? But it would be a rocket ship. Yeah. I mean, I Instead, don't you get why... a front wheel drive. Yeah. Awful. Why can't they just make two? Make a sporty version and this version. Because the above's the sporty fit. Oh, I guess, yeah. A so this has is been supposed ruined. to be Fiat, the Fiat Chrysler one. killed a bath and Lancia. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the sporty one, and it's just not. They've actually made it slow. Okay, yeah, that's done.
Because, I mean, hey, it looks better, and it looks a bit sportier with the little subtle changes. But, like, it's well, just Well, I mean, not. the normal Fiat has a top speed of 93. I'd hope it's a bit quicker than that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> makes, it's almost... Makes 30 more horsepower, though. That means it's almost as fast as that Toyota SUV that doesn't exist. So, you know, it's got right. that. Right. Uh, but, yeah, the Abarth, uh, you, hate, you hate to see him. You hate it's to a see point, him. I hope no one buys it. Yeah, speaking of uh, EV upcomings, though, the concept version of the Audi wagon. Now, here's the thing. I was talking about this the other day. I... Uh, my, the cars that I like is the Porsche Taken. It's a sportier, not the wagon version, the sportier uh, sedan type version, sports car version, right? The GT86, that Concept 74 or something, the Honda Civic. No car I've ever really liked has been a wagon. And Alex 7, if you watch that episode, Alex 7 planted the seed in my head with the Volvo. I was like, oh, that's his dream car. And I was like, you know, that thing looks kind of cool. Uh, and then I cycled past a really, like, vibrant blue Audi RS4 new, new wagon. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I am now the average wagon enjoyer. The RS4, <laughs> Ivan, will be better than the e-tron. Like, this thing. is. It was this, but, like, in a All-wheel really drive, vibrant twin blue. All-wheel drive, twin-turbo V6 will be infinitely better than... The goofy R. Uh... What, the, the concept? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's something about, like, dropping a wagon, too. Ah, oh, something about wagons is really tickling my fancy now. And if this thing... Like, why would the fake grill do some? What the Audi... Because they're going to use a existing platform. Yeah. I mean, their, their e-tron... Their whole EV lineup is just fake grills, right? Yep. Why not? Like, wait a minute. Even this looks stinky. I guess this is a concept, right? It's got the thin headlights. It's got Concept's the fake meant to grill. look good. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got the fake grill. It's got the uh, thing. But, like, even this... I don't know. Could I imagine that as a wagon? That Maybe. is a Porsche Taycan, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same platform. It's the is exact it same platform. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. These Germans <laughs> are in cahoots. But, uh... I, I, you know what? I feel like this it'll be a, it'll be a taken estate. That's yeah. what it'll be a taken estate with a different body on it. I feel like it can, it's growing on me though. This, this thing already. I feel like it's slightly growing on me, but like taken estate's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, the taken's definitely better, but as far as the, the RS4 Avan is better. RS4 wagon goes absolutely drip. Like I spotted one the other day, and it was just like it was it was for sale as well. You know what? I didn't have my wallet on me, but. I could have dropped those Left couple of thousands. Grand you know, those couple of the couple of ten thousands it would have cost. Very cool looking car in real life, the uh, Audi uh, wagon. And I've I, I've become a wagon enjoyer. I I really have to admit it. I've become a wagon enjoyer. Wagons are better than SUVs in every single aspect. There exactly. Is no, there's especially no yeah. Especially when it's that or an SUV. And like just the idea of dropping a wagon now, I'm obsessed. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, and the game I play, the crew dude, doesn't even have goddamn wagons. I don't know if Need for Speed it's does. based in the US. I'd have to play Forza to bloody get wagons. A wagon's I don't really have just... many in Forza either. Yeah, a wagon's just not a thing in the US. They're I guess very European, because they have their pickups, aren't they? Yeah, the... SUVs and You've pickups, got to be as impractical yeah. as humanly possible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. But, uh, you know what, I wouldn't mind. If there was a cooler, because by the time I'm going to be able to get... Oh, car, it's better off I get an EV. If there's a cooler EV wagon at some point, maybe I will consider it. Just to actually do some cool stuff to it, honestly. Uh, so I can get a car and get an EV. Like, yeah, I'm 25, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, you know what? We can go into Spotted while well, Spotted after, but I think that's most of the main things sort of brushed over. Uh, got plenty, two weeks worth of stuff. Oh, the Mazda concept. Speaking of concepts... Mazda came out with this absolute what even oh, of a concept even what car. Is. Yeah, this thing is what what I did. This would it's, never It is exist. a Lotus from the back. It, yeah, yeah, it's really got that Lotus design. But like, it's not a real like. Obviously, yeah, it's not a real car. But like the side of it, where's the handle? It doesn't even have side mirror handles it's it, just it got... wouldn't they it would cost way too much to make <laughs> yeah they, like i i i don't know what the point in making this is right like maybe they'll make one to show off and they're never gonna sell it they're never gonna sell it but as a con even as a concept right like 
I feel like it looks fake. It looks like a fake. Do, I don't even think they'd make one. No, no. Like the entire front looks like one piece. Same with the bag, just split yeah. by the doors and the roof. Yeah, like that. It would be the most like painfully expensive thing to manufacture. Uh, the the I don't know what's going on with the um the front badge. I guess it's like a a light thing. I mean, I don't know. Doesn't the out what, what is it? Renault. What's the Renault um new Renault EV? The, the five. Renault five. Is that it? That like, has um or the four. The four yes, is the five's the one that's come up. Five electric. But what it looks like to me is the same thing that the five has going on here with the side, right? It's got these like uh the plastic thing or not pla like acrylic or whatever, and then a light shining on the end of it for the bat. I mean I say that as if it's not a render. <laughs> it's probably just a light <laughs> yeah. bit, like thing just attached to the model. But, oh God, the Renault Five is so much better of an attempt at oh, an EV. Yeah, like yeah. if they're gonna, if they actually make that, they'll sell a load of them. Yeah, yeah. If it's small. I mean, what? So the outlets are believing that this thing is supposed to be an MX Five. You could do something so much cooler with an MX Five to make it EV. Especially it's with way the new, too long wheelbase like, to be an MX-5. Yeah, that's the thing, right? I mean, I guess we don't really have too good of a reference here, though, because it's just a render. Like, that looks well over four meters long. Yeah. Do Mazda have uh, EVs? They probably do, right? Mm, no, hybrid only. Do they? Oh, okay. In the like, UK, at least. Especially the more aggressive MX-5s. Like, I feel like you could do something to that to make it EV, right? Something more along the lines of this kind of uh, update. But now that I think then about... they would no, they will hold on to that the petrol version till that as long as they humanly can. <laughs> yeah. Because the only reason it sells is because it's cheap. Yeah, yeah. That concept will never be cheap. No, the EV that's version thing, right. will never be cheap. Mm. Yeah. And they're... the issue is the second they release an EV version, everyone will go, oh, Toyota will release the MR2 as mm. a small, small because it's EV. I mean... Like. To see, man. but yeah, they'll re they'll all start releasing their own little compares if it sells yeah. well. The EV version. I assume what they'd really be waiting for, and what most companies who haven't touched EV yet would be waiting for, and are focusing on cheap cars, is the crackdown, the global crackdown of okay, all petrol cars are going to cost people way too much to buy now. So if you just start chucking out like a really simple design that's dirt cheap. They will sell because it would be, it would actually be cheaper than buying a petrol one because of the taxes that they're going to use to to get rid of uh, petrol and just have people using EVs. Looking at the MX Five, there's no way it's an MX Five. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah. it's way too long wheelbase. It doesn't. It's not convertible. Ooh, MX Five. I see. Uh, I kind of see where they see an MX Five though, right? Like the front. With the the flat the, the flat front center of the front like, sure. with the top yeah like I guess that's what they're going based off right like the flat front with the with the like Porsche style coming up over the the headlights and wheels it's like thing. fifty percent longer than the MX five yeah, it's Why way too think? long yeah it's like a yeah, it's more like an RX like an RX series length. yeah like it's uh, but then they can't bring back RX it doesn't stand for they're called the EX or so that one the EX one yeah. there you go but you know what at least they're thinking about an EV right I, I mean this is never at all what it's gonna look like the, like, concept, the car's at least four years away <laughs> yeah. I mean this is what this is what it would be like to describe a Tesla to someone from like the 70s is what it feels like it's like that like it doesn't look real in the slightest I don't see what the point of this concept is. It's kind of just a non-thing. Practical, honestly. expensive. Yeah. And just bad looking. Like, like the Audi just... wagon is a more legitimate concept than this is, right? Like that could probably make it to market looking like that. Barely. It would look bad. But like, what is this? It's got a green tail on it, right? Like, I, I, I don't but know what's nitro. going on this thing. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Uh, but speaking I, it, of nitro, yeah. Need for Speed Unbound. Oh my god, Need for Speed oh, Unbound wow. released, and like, so much of the game leaked as well. But, <laughs> we have been playing Need for Speed Unbound for the last, uh, well you started about like Yesterday. a day ago, yeah. I have about 35 hours in the game so far, and the game's been out for maybe 4 days, something like that. In the first 2 days, I had 28 hours played, which is very similar to The Crew 2, where in the first 3 days, I had more than half of 72 hours played 
So I had more time playing the game than I did not playing the game. But that means I, and I suppose to a certain degree you, have enough uh, play time and uh, prowess in the game so far to give a little review on the game. And so far, I'd say the general consensus has been good. I think it's a lot of the people who don't like, the, where I've been looking at least, uh, a lot of the people who haven't been liking the game are the... And now this isn't all of them. There's definitely valid criticisms, which we're going to talk about. But a lot of the people who haven't been liking the game have been the like, Oh, it's a Need for Speed. Cringe. Or who saw the trailers and saw that it was an anime art style and were like, Oh, well, I'm never going to touch this game. And then are coming in and being like, Oh, see, the game's bad. But there's definitely bad things about it. Uh, I mean, you've only just been playing it. What's your consensus on the game so far? I've only played multiplayer. Yeah, that's the thing. And My verdict is, it's the worst multiplayer of any racing game released this decade. <laughs> yeah. How? The thing is, it's apparently, it's ex the multiplayer is exactly like the last few Need for Speeds. So maybe it isn't the worst. It's just Need for Speed. Uh, but yeah. Well, it's a racing game releasing. It, basically 2023, right? Yeah. Without matchmaking. Yep, yep. It doesn't There's, have much making. Yeah. Like, I... So the it, system... It's like, what year it is. Yeah, like, I don't get it. The system for loading into a uh, PvP lobby. It that... just... It selects... Like, so you're in a lobby of 16, right? Yeah, which and you it go just into sends, straight yeah, away. Yeah, you just load into in. a lobby of 16 in yeah. free roam. And then you start, like, you start a race playlist or something, like, three, selection of three races. And it sends the notifications to only the people in yep. your lobby of 16. So you and just if, have to hope if, if, you get lucky that those people care. You, you right? won't get a lobby of more than four or five. And by, yeah. Like a pie thing of more than four or five. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, I don't think I've been in a single race with m more than four people yet. It's I, I, just, like, it's, it's it's shocking, the PvP. I don't get how it was released in that state. Yeah, Someone I don't looked understand at that what they were and thinking. was like, yeah, that's good. The PvP is terrible in that aspect. There is like, no races either. Yeah, the races are there so are limited. There are nine unique... Because you've got A... You've got B, A, A+, plus, S... Yeah. S+. Plus. Uh, There's yeah. nine unique races for each. Yep. And because huh? we don't have the ASAP Rocky events, those don't get, those don't have, those have like the there's spec no cops. change. Like, there's, there's no, no cops in online. Thing in online. Yep, there's no there's, uh, You can't bet on things. each other in online. Like yep. in the story, <laughs> you can bet on another racer and it, it, it does make it a bit fun. It's like, oh shit, that guy's a hell like... <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, uh, what's it called? You could bet on someone else and it would be like, oh shit, he's ahead of me. I need to beat him because... Even if I come second, I'm going to lose the money to him, right? But you can't bet in online. You can't uh, You can't do uh, police chases. Yeah. Now, the party size of four, we've played the crew too, so I guess, <laughs> I don't know, we're not spoiled in that aspect. But the 16... So here's the thing. You, you clarified me on this before as well, right? Where GTA does a similar thing, but what they do is when you go into a lobby of a race, it shows it to the people in your lobby first... But then we'll do a general search. Yeah. I don't understand what... 2013 why, game, by the way. Exactly. Like, surely, if not even that right, but just at least pick two other... Two <laughs> other 16-player San Francisco player didn't even do <laughs> yeah. the speed method. Like, surely... It's just sad. <laughs> surely at least pick two other 16-player lobbies and send the notification to them, too. You will like, never people, get a full like, the same playlist. Yeah. Like, if someone starts to... Like, anything. Yeah, honestly, anything at this point. It if just you do go into a sense. race, the balancing is the, so broken. Yeah. You can your car's have a, either like, meta or your last. <laughs> yeah. It's either, like... Yeah, that, that's literally what it is. Now, the way the Crew 2 counters is not to compare the games uh, endlessly. It's just that's what I have for reference. And, uh, I mean, Forza, even Forza the doesn't Crew 2's this, PvP is like, bad. Considering we're comparing it to the Crew 2 and the Crew 2 is in yeah, a positive light, exactly. shows you what state it's in. But um, the way the Crew 2 balances that is no matter what spec of car you're using, it is maxed out in that spec by default. So say you just have to have the car. Say you have a really low rated MX-5, uh, you will be able to load into a PvP race 
and everyone will be put at a set level within that spec. Now, I understand kind of why they aren't going with that, because I guess that would kind of remove all of the grind, other than just buying cars. That would kind of remove all the Long grind. Long cars in not being maxed out, sure. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. But it's the fact that, like, and I start at 34 in A+, plus, right? Mm. Compared to another, like, example from today, right? I was yeah. in RX-8, very top of A+, plus, top, top. Versus the skyline, top of A+. There, there was no physical way you could catch him in the yeah. straight line. Yeah. It was just, I, like, 40 miles an hour quicker. It's gone. It's gone. And the thing is, it's just I just... no balancing. Because yeah. it, it could turn better and quicker in a straight line. I just My don't bad. know just what they teleport. can do about that is the issue at this Make point. Make a good game. Like, yeah, it, the, the balancing is absolutely terrible. And as, as well as the searching for online. Now, we will go on to the positives, okay? But, God, the online and the PvP is terrible. And I've only played, like, a couple hours Worst of it. Worst online right? racing game this decade. It's insane, right? I would rather be playing Crew 2 PvP at that point. And I That's actively so go out of my way to not play Crew <laughs> PvP recently. But one thing I would rather do than play the Crew recently is just simply play the story. You haven't touched the story, so I guess no. I can take the reins on this one. God, I have been loving the story so far. I mean, as far as the actual plotline goes, nothing too crazy. Spoilers for Unbound plotline. Um, essentially, you start off, you make your character, and it's you and someone else. And I don't know if you're adopted, but or you're just, like, working there with a platonic, like, fatherly uh, relationship, but I think it might be adopted. You work with a mechanic called Rydell, uh, and your adoptive sister, or maybe not, uh, Yes. And what ends up happening, you make a car, you do some races, uh, you either pick the S1415, what is it, S15? I, I don't know. <laughs> that, the Kuntash, or uh, some other car, I forget. You drive it around a little bit, and you're like, okay, this is pretty good for a starter car. Then comes an absolute howler of a cutscene, where you come back from a race, every single car you have gets robbed, the Yaz is just doing the most outrageous disrespect to your mentor guy, Rydell. And um, your main uh, S15, or whatever star car you chose, gets stolen by her. Now, then it just skips two years. It skips two years. You're wearing the exact same clothes. Um, everyone <laughs> looks the exact same. If you have the bandages on your face, they're all still there two years later. And uh, so far, I've gotten to a point where, yeah, you just continue on. Um, you get to this grand, which is a weekly uh, event type thing. You play every single week. You play the grand. Uh, every time you have to have a one rating higher car. And the final grand is one of every rating car from A to a uh, S+, plus, not including B. That's the story. I assume you beat Yaz. And I've heard you then beat ASAP Rocky afterwards. But... They kind of did a cyberpunk. Actually, no, I don't even know if cyberpunk did this. I feel it's going to have very story game fall off, though. Yeah, of course. Because yeah, what's the, online... the appeal to playing online? Yeah, that's the issue right now, right? And here's the thing. So it's a completely separate save in online, which I kind of like. I kind of actually do that's like what they've done. the right? least of this game's issues, to yeah. be honest. That's I fine. I kind of like what they did with that, where it's like, yeah, it's a completely separate save. Uh, so it's the same car, different cars, different, uh, di even different money pacing, right? Money in online is so easy. People complain about the money in story, but once you get rolling, it's easy as well. Just not to that same pace. Uh, but the thing is, is I kind of like what they did with, with the story. While you unlock cars, while you do missions, you then have those available to buy in online. But uh, like, that's a, that's a decently good way of doing that. But one of the things I wanted to mention is ASAP Rocky. They really did make him seem like he was a lot more of the game than he was, right? I think mostly just because they had they him... They quite a bit. Yeah, the... voice break. Yeah. Oh, no, don't even start. <laughs> don't even start. They had him as the cover of the of the game. His car is the cover of the game. Uh, on they also said he could like... turn off vanities. And, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll get into that as well. They said, they said the, like, the way they said about the weekly thing yeah. sounded a lot more interesting than it's just the story progression. So there's, a bu there's been a bunch of marketing uh, issues, right? So one of them that is kind of, eh, right, this one's kind of, uh, is that 
customization. We saw some outrageous body kits. Uh, <laughs> outrageous body kits. Now, bear in mind, the customization in Unbound is really good. It's really yeah. good customization. But there was this one trailer that showed outrageous outrageous customization removing parts they said you could remove parts on uh on i don't know if they said all cars i don't think they would have because that would have probably been lying because that yeah wouldn't be the first time exactly yeah we'll get onto that yeah but uh customization they did this one trailer where they were like whoa look at how outrageous the customization is this probably would have predict been predictable if you thought about any video game ever but that really insane customization was only on specific cars and those happened to be the specific cars that they showed in all the trailers you can see they have a little badge it's like this one has wild customization and it's just the ones they showed in the trailer which that does feel kind of that's more scummy marketing than deceptive marketing if anything, more They did a lot of that, though. Line. A yeah. lot of it is quite... So the bigger issue, the genuine bigger issue. Now, I want to preface, I like the effects. The art style, I like what it's going for. I like that it differentiates itself, and I think it's kind of a cool art style. Especially with one thing. Just a side note while we get into that. Considering the, you know, taking it with video game logic of that's the trailer, this is what the actual game is going to be like. Seeing the graphics in the trailers... And the graphics actually looking that good in the game is absolutely shocking. I right? mean, Frostbite does... I think I'm not enough such what uses Frostbite, mm. by the way, but Frostbite does look very good as a yeah. game engine. Like, like Battlefield Five mm. was a very good-looking game, graphically. Mm. But, like, honestly, that is one of this game's standout things. It is such a good-looking game. People complain that it's not an old gen. It looks this good because of that. Like, not even a chance... It is this stunning of a game because of not being on old gen. It's obviously got those few Need for Speed isms, like there's a vignette on the screen. Torture, I hate it. Get rid of the vignette, please. Uh, but it doesn't do the heat thing of putting a filter over the whole game, which good. But uh, I like the art style, how it's really good looking graphics mixed with these uh, the cartoony effects, right? Maybe in the long run I'll get bored of them, but I kind of like them. That's there the are no graphic settings. Is there not? Is it no, just um, good, medium, it's, whatever? Yeah, it's just low, medium, high, ultra. Oh, I can't turn anti aliasing off. Anti aliasing looks horrible on high resolution <laughs> monitors. Oh my yeah. gosh. Anything far away is just blurry. But no, no, because they've got the. Like, I, like, I can't think of a single game, like, I hate to use it again, by this yeah. decade. That doesn't yeah. have separate things. Yeah, even the crew like too has even it. console games are starting to have individual graphic oh, setting adjustments. It's just yeah, yeah. It really, really, really feels like they copy and paste. I like it, it's just hate copy and paste with effects. Is what yeah. it feels like for the online. Yeah, I mean for the online, yeah. <laughs> but, for the yeah. But uh, I like the, 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 the clarification was I like the I've, I've cut my finger somehow. Damn. Where are the tissues? One sec. Too much need for speed. I know. Uh, you could talk about the whatevers, I guess. One sec. It's, uh, story mode might be good. But once you've done the story, PvP, or online as a whole, is just unenjoyable. It's, there's nothing to do. If you're not playing races, you can just do laps around the map in free room, I guess. Mad, loads of fun, because there's no cops. Even though there was cops. Oh. But the races themselves are just... Like, like, like I said, there's nine per mm. rating. And they're just... You end up playing the same races over and over mm. and over and over again. And that, the with the is... same two people, because yeah. no one else is playing, over and over and over again. And if one of them's got a decent car, you're coming last every time. Mm. Because it's so imbalanced. From the context of the story, I can definitely add to that. But uh, like I was saying, they did lie. They definitely times, yeah. did lie. With the cartoon effects and the clarification that I like them is just to say, hey, it's not a bias here. If I was given the option to take them off, I'd keep them on. But they did 100% say you will be able to take them off. In fact, they did it in a sassy attitude, which I kind of caught out, right? Because they said, like, yes, you'll be able to turn them off 
In fact, you'll just be able to, you'll be able to not equip them in the first place. Which, for me there, one, not equip, meaning unequip, right? Two, I could tell right there and then, because what people would have actually wanted is in the settings, go in settings, cartoon effects, off, done. The AIs don't have them on, you don't have them on, they're not on. Because that would make the most sense for what they've got going on, is just a set off. But at the moment, what it is, is say, hypothetically, you at could the moment, unequip them. Implying it's going to get fixed. Yeah. Uh, but say, hypothetically, you could unequip them. Everyone else in your race still has them on. Every single other racer in your race still yeah. has them on. So the cartoon effects are still there. Two, you can't unequip them. You, as a matter of fact, what they said, take them off. You cannot do that. All you can do is equip a limited one, which I believe all it doesn't have is the wings when you jump and the wings when you boost. It still has the smoke. It still has the flashing of the car when you boost, when you get the launch boost and everything like that. But it 100% they did lie when it comes yeah. to taking them off because you cannot take them off. That's a matter of fact. I feel this game is going to do average need for speed and die within three months. I mean, that's the main thing, right? They need to keep updating it. This game what has... happens when everyone's finished the story. Yeah, this game has potential... But it's got a lot of work to go if it wants to capitalize Online needs to, just, the online just needs an overhaul. Like, yeah. it needs to be redone, but they're not going to. Uh, but from a story perspective, the repetitive races, you really feel them in the story. Like, you really, really feel them in the story. It just becomes the same race over and over and over again. You only get more races uh, on the weekly system, which is, you know, if you're doing every race every single day and every single night... It's a very, very long time. I've played for 30 hours, uh, playing all the races, trying to get as much as I done, much as I can done, and I'm only on the start of week three, and there's four weeks. So, it, the the progression, I think people complained about the money. I don't think the money's that bad if you actually put in the work, which yes, that adds to the grind, but it does get really repetitive. Money doesn't seem or money's not awful in online at least. Yeah. Uh, the characters in the game, they're fine, right? It's literally just Latrell and Hero from the crew too. Yeah. The ex as in, and if you don't understand that reference, it's essentially just saying they're the most default racing game character side characters ever, right? Is that it's just that it's the annoying sidekick and the like um, friendly mentor guy is essentially what it is. Uh, Yaz, I think there is zero character development on Yaz in the start of the game. She's just kind of like, yeah, I, I hate family. Grr, I hate family. or I hate family. And then it's like, what? She betrayed the family? What? Ooh. And then, uh, but yeah, the characters are fine though, right? Some of the dialogue. Dialogue? I want to say is good. Uh, the, some of the stuff is actually cringy. Some of it is cringy. It's like 10% who care dialogue. 20% could, couldn't care less dialogue. 10% cringy dialogue. 70% actually pretty funny dialogue, I would say. And most of that is in the police chases. Because uh, I refuse to believe. I, ad I adamantly refuse to believe the police chase dialogue isn't parody. It is. It has to be parody. There is stuff like um, joining the fight. Uh, we're here to. Uh, what is it? Oh, I forget what it is. It's like chew gum and and take names, and we're all out of names. And it'll be stuff like that. <laughs> and it'll be like um, you destroy them, and it's damn. I'm a terrible driver. They'll call you a knucklehead, and <laughs> and uh, what's it called? Uh, they'll call you a knucklehead, and uh, it's. <laughs> Scream idiot alert if you crash. Um, th there's some voice lines. I forget them. But they are brilliant. I love some of the dialogue in the game. Uh, some of the story dialogue is also fine. But that sometimes leans on the side of cringy. The police dialogue genuinely is on the side of, like, this is pretty fun. And driving around the map. Map? Very good, I would say. I, I want to say, having played it for this long, map kind of good. I don't know what you think on that. 
I mean, you've just I, been doing I, races is the issue, right? You've just been doing online races. Being forced races. to drive around the map, I'm That's right here true. for. That's, yeah, online not having a... All I want to do is play race, and I would have to drive five yeah. minutes in a B rate into the other side of the map to go to a home to change yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, that's one that's of the big garbage. things. Um, I mean, in uh, the story side of it, what ends up happening is you just keep getting spotted. Some of the police chases get really, really annoying, and it, it really... If they add that to online... Like, yeah. <laughs> It really starts to grade on the uh, on the already repetitive repetitiveness, right? Um, ASAP Rocky, I was mentioning earlier that um, yeah, they sort of bigged him up. He's literally only in one event type, and it's the most annoying event type. It's like this Very game crew two events. game type. It's literally a copy pasted event type from the crew two, right? But um, it's fine when you get used to it, right? Once you get used to the physics and everything, handling and physics, graphics, I'd say those pretty good right there's obviously the meta issue where one car can be nuts but um other graphics than that, take go down quite a bit because i can't change anything i mean <laughs> yeah i mean i haven't minded with that but uh yeah I'm i guess stuck so. with like focal distance blur with anti aliasing yeah. like, i can't turn even off because it's just uh cars wise i want to say cars I, I think when we first got the car list it was kind of like Ugh. but now that you we don't think that I, I, they're fine for what you're going through the be. list of cars. I, it's just like, oh yeah, there's two of those cars because one's could have had one star. That's, that's like bad, that's yeah. most of the car list. Yeah, that is bad, right? That 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 doesn't make much sense. I mean, I haven't really checked yet. Can you buy them more than one of a car? Yeah. Can you? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, because I am the RX8 in B and A plus. Oh yeah, of course you do. Okay, well, but, the, but why have convertibles separate then? <laughs> Like, because, okay, yeah. Because, because, Woo. car list. Exactly, so the car list. Out of yeah. Uh, Only got 45 races, they go out about more than 45 cars, I guess. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, right. So, looking to the future, I would say game. Personally, I still like the game. I still like the game, despite the unba uh, unbound online. The online gets, at the moment, genuinely 2 to 3 out of 10, I would say. It's still fun because the game is kind of fun. But, and like when you're actually in a race where someone doesn't have an absolutely broken car, kind of fun. The story, I would give a solid, playing it for this long, I'd give it a solid, um, like 7, 7.5, 8. I really enjoy it. The repetitiveness does grind on it, uh, great on it. But honestly, if it was me, I've got a job, right? I work full time, essentially. I don't get the time. Like, I know right now, every hour I give an Unbound, I'm like, I'm really enjoying this. But I really should be working instead. And I know that's going to have to stop soon, right? I know I'm not going to be able to burn time as much as I am right now. But if I had the time to burn, say the average schoolgoer, say the average unemployed adult, really fun game. The repetitiveness isn't great on that. Uh, feels good. Handles good. I'd give it an 8. I say for that, what would you rate the... You haven't played the story. Online, you story. like, generous for the two. So. Ja, two was a gen is generous. <laughs> you call it online. Yeah. It's yeah. borderline not even online, because it doesn't matchmake. It doesn't... Yeah. It doesn't... It, it, <laughs> it, it's... Yeah. I, um, I cut it zero. It gets a zero. But look into the future. They need a weekly thing. They need a weekly minimum thing. Name one time. Thing. Name one right. time EA actually didn't move a team off the game instantly. That's the th issue, right? Hey, we still got Apex. Who instantly who get put to Star Wars every like other month, I guess. I was going to say, <laughs> have you seen, they're reusing the same winter event this year for the fourth year in a row. Oh, right. Yeah, true, actually. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there's less than 10 people on Apex now. It's, yeah. It's dead. Apex is, but they've basically killed a respawn. Right, so that's the thing, right, is the current landscape of racing games is weekly updates. That's the only reason the crew's always talked about, that's the only reason Forza's always talked about, because the game is still going, because there's still stuff to do. Heat was one of those games that would get like a burst of like, oh, maybe Heat's good, and then they're gone, because there's nothing more to do than everything that is already done. Once you finish the game, you finish the game, full stop nothing the crew still gets a motor pass there's still pvp there's still new events every single two months they will, add a, they will like, add a battle pass they will yeah they will. that's the thing right if they do end up continuing they need to continue right and a battle pass probably wouldn't be the right way of doing that but what they need is online like, is such a big it needs an overhaul, yeah 
just make it overall match. But just, not, it doesn't even have to be overall, right? Instead of just put the 16 player lobbies in groups of threes, right? Groups of threes. Done. Now, when you send out an invitation, it sends it to 48 people, right? Send it to anyone. It'd be nice. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> anyone. I like, just... even chuck in another one, and you got like, what, 50. Uh, 64 people. 64 people getting a, a request for a race. You might actually or, get into a full lobby now. Or right? EA could wake up and realize it's the 21st century and yep. use a modern matchmaking system. Yep, yep, right. It's insane. Yeah, like, like a Name, name like, one game that has a yeah. matchmaking system like as outdated as Unbound. Like, GTA is a game from 2013 and it still does this system better than Unbound because it sends it to the people in your lobby and then everyone else, right? Like, then start searching yeah. here and there. It's Which, like, that's all it needs like to do. Like, Project Gotham Racing probably had better <laughs> matchmaking. It's atrocious. It is atrocious. I don't get it. I don't know. Who's... They, that needs they an overhaul. They be fine immediately. Mm. Who the thought of it? Like, I don't that get it. That needs an overhaul, but then what they need is car editions, right? Forza gets car editions weekly. For, uh, They're going to be tired gets, the, uh... Like, yeah, that's the issue, right? They need car editions and, and uh, you know, updates and stuff like that. Either that or, you know, Unite just, they just, like, they just let Unite do what they do. But at that point, it's like, well, it's not their job, right? It's nice they're doing it, but it's just not their job is the thing. EA do not care. Mm. EA were just like, oh, how much money can we make? Sure. If they really just end up moving on to the next game after this... That'll be so upsetting. They will. They'll leave a skeleton crew on Unbound to fix oh, bugs and add like one car just... every so often. Oh. Or, like, look at any other EA franchise. Like, Battlefield, yeah. they the same thing. T what's it called? Titanfall was scrapped for, what's it called? Apex. Mm. And the second Apex release, they just moved everyone off Apex into Star Wars. When did he release? Did he release before the 2018 crew? 2018 or 17? It was around the same time. 26? 2019 it released a year after he released after horizon 5 the standard of open world racing games at that horizon point 5 was oh, 4 sorry 4 is what yeah, i meant that's gonna yeah what's it called like it was like the standard at that point was update your game regularly and they just yeah. didn't i don't get it yeah because the big three are unbound Oh, well, well, Need for Speed, Forza, The Crew. Those are the three open world racing games at the moment. The Crew has, every two months, Motor Pass. We got a weekly competitive event system. Pretty shitty, but PvP. Uh, we get new car editions, like, at least 10 to 15 every two months. Forza has the weekly seasonal, which goes into a full weekly season thing with new cars added, and now they're even adding more stuff, like they've got the Battle Royale, they've got the... Um, the, 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 the PvP, the party game modes, all of that, new car editions. Need for Speed, if they don't update this, it's just like, what are they doing in the open world genre, right? Like, like I, I used to say, like, I retire so inefficient with their resources. Mm. I take that back. Like, and, did they just... Was it Criterion? I want to say... I imagine they have more staff than Ivory Tower. Yeah. They would have had way more money. The and they've come out with the this game as worst as well. online multiplayer yeah. racing game ever. Like, the amount of delays as well to have this kind of an online. And I want to say, sure, maybe their focus was really heavy on the story. I the online is inexcusable. It yeah, should, yeah. shouldn't have been able, it should have been allowed to release like this. The thing is, right, I want to say, well, maybe their focus was way too much on the story, right? The story, if it was just the story... A year to a year and a half maximum, right? The story side of the game is done well. The graphics, the... Uh, I'm not going to say the way the game runs because it's notorious for crashing. Um, the mine graphics, hasn't crashed yet. Yeah, yours hasn't. I don't think mine has in a while because they've, they've been updating basically every single day for the last little while. Um, no surprise. The lack uh, of races as well. Yeah, I don't the lack of races, right? Like, so like, many I delays. I thought Forza lacked races. Mm. I, like, and I, it took me probably two weeks to finish all the races in that. I've yeah. played all the races in Unbound. Yep. 
It's like, like literally, it's 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 insane how little just, there is. Did, what, what criteria, like in Spain or something, on holiday when they were making this? I don't get it. I, I like, love the game and the grindy aspect of it. If it was like two years ago and I had the time, I wasn't working all the time, I would genuinely just be playing this game non-stop. But I, I enjoy never the art style. The online. Yeah, there the is art obviously good. very big potential. Yeah, there is. It's EA just, are going to yeah. basically force Criterion to work on something else instantly. Yeah, and if it's just it's another not need for as speed, it's just, just going to be... Keep them all there working on a band. It's just going to be sad. That's the thing, right? Forza keeps going. I don't I don't know how Forza keeps going. Microsoft has to be how Forza keeps going, right? Microsoft has infinite money. Yeah. They, they don't care. The Crew 2 keeps going because of microtransactions. They have the constant refunding of microtransactions, right? Ubisoft needs an open world racer, and thanks to the fact that the microtransactions are done as okay as they are in the crew too, the game's still able to go. If the crew released in the state unbounded, it would have been cancelled instantly yeah, by Ubisoft. Yeah, like it would never have gotten an update. Right. Like, it's shocking. At least the stuff is working. There's stuff in There's that game. 45 right? races. Yeah, yeah. What? It's insane. I mean, but the, yeah, the thing is, is right, is, um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, they, they, <sighs> game could have been good. It's, it is in many aspects, right? I still think the story aspect of it and just the base game, eight. Yeah, what are you going to do Online, when you finish the story? Two, exactly, right? That's the thing. I, like, I do, I've got no reason to get off the story right now. I've just been doing that over and over and over again. All we have to like, hope... I've, I've probably got about eight pl hours played on the game total. Yeah. I'm already very close to have had enough. <laughs> it's very much just a fingers crossed hope, but uh, yeah, that, yeah, we, uh, we can EA's track hope. record is awful. Yeah. There's no way they actually update PvP. Mm. Uh, but... Uh, let us know in the, in the comments what you think of Need for Speed Unbound. Uh, this is going to go on the video channel as well. So subscribe to this channel. And this is a segment from the podcast. So sub to the podcast channel. If you want more stuff like this, everything car, car culture, racing, racing games. From that, we can go into the gaming segment, which is where we get you up to speed on everything going on in gaming this, uh, this last week. Uh, last two weeks, I suppose. Of course, Need for Speed Unbound's released, which we've just gone through. A uh, bunch of stuff on that. General consensus seems to be uh, some good, some bad. Pretty okay, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the Crew 2 is currently in the Baron Raid Summit with the rewards of the followers, the legendary half set of something, uh, Rally Snake Skin Tires for Gold, and the Platinum reward is the Fender Charcoal, a brand new addition to the Demolition Derby of that game. And also, the Crew 2 recently, this very week, did also get the Lamborghini Countaches. We got the most recent Countach and the older classic Countach. However, it has been broken. The newer Countach is pretty overpowered in its spec, but the street Countach goes st full speed. Not only is it insanely good, insanely good, but it goes full speed, 260 miles an hour, off road, it does. It is a certified crew moment. Off like, I... road, uh, presumably it's going to be patched. Hopefully it's going to be patched, but um, we just got to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, on top of that, uh, Forza is, I believe, I want to say third week of Donut Media. I think last week is it last week of Donut Media? Yeah, God. Uh, yeah, last week of Donut Media, and they just got the Lamborghini Cyan. I think a convertible version. I don't know if they had the base version, but just recently got the Lamborghini Cyan or Cyan or whatever it's called, right? <laughs> uh, that thing. They got a spider version of it. And I don't know if there's much else going on in Forza. What they've announced, what week, their, what um, season their next expansion is going to come out, right? And it's sometime in 2023. I, I, I think have no idea. Like, I think they said 17. But I don't know what they, number they've this already is. fumbled it at this point. It's way too late. Yeah, I've honestly, I don't know. I haven't recently because Unbound came out. But just before Unbound came out, I was hearing a lot of Forza bad talk, like um, like a lot of damn Forza boring right now talk, and uh, especially leading up to Unbound, right? Uh, I haven't heard much of it at the moment. They're probably all playing Unbound. 
but before they all saw the Unbound online. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. Now it's Force is great. Force yeah, Online you know is what? really good. <laughs> At least we can load in, you know. <laughs> There's more than two people in the race? What? Yeah, yeah. Next gen psychology. Exactly. Woo! But, um. Uh, yeah, other than that, I think not a lot has been going on um, other than that in the world of gaming. Uh, Crew 1 had its uh, anniversary. It's 8-year anniversary of the Crew 1. Released 8 years ago uh, on December 2nd. Oh, yeah. And Ferrari designed a car to, oh, to just designed a car for it to be in racing games. And it's going in GT7. It's what a Vision Grand Series, I'm pretty sure. Loads of companies have done it. Mass have done one before. What, isn't like a car just for the... Grand Turismo. That's kind of cool. You know what? That's actually kind of cool from Gran Turismo then. If that's what they're managing to get brands to do. They got a Plymouth sick. as well at one point. They've gotten loads. Yeah, that's actually... You know what? That is pretty sick actually, yeah. But the Ferrari Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, so they've got their own car in the game. And uh, that's pretty big. That just came out recently. Uh, I don't think much else has been going on in the world of uh, racing games. So I think that concludes the gaming segment. And, uh, well, there isn't anything for the <laughs> motorsports segment. Motorsports no. Monday has been cancelled. I mean, the China Grand Prix next year was cancelled. Oh, that, so that wraps up the motorsports segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Whoa, all of those motorsports stories. But, yes... I uh, hope you boys did enjoy this episode of the Stick Shrift Podcast. We will see you boys in the tenth episode. Episode the big the big one zero is next week. Oh, man, the... uh, I love outdated online technology. Exactly. Um, Comment. I love outdated technology. If you watch this far into the podcast, subscribe with notifications on. Podcast out every single Sunday. Review us on Spotify for that one brilliant moment oh, where I finally figure out how to find the Spotify reviews. <laughs> I wonder how you read Spotify comments yeah, as well. You know That'd what? be a yeah. banger. <laughs> In your Spotify review, put how to find the Spotify <laughs> review. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you to everyone who watched in a bit.